When exporting to leads, there are a few areas you will want to set up depending on your requirements from your client. First, click your name at the top right and select Settings. From there, go to your System tab and click Edit Settings. Check the box next to Enable Leads File Export. Then, fill in your federal taxpayer ID. You have the option to check Enable ABA Standard Code, which activates the UT BMS Standard Codes for all of your clients in your account. Only turn this option on if you want the ABA codes to be used for all or the majority of your clients and projects in the system. If you only have a few clients using ABA codes, you can turn this on in the client or project settings instead. Once you are finished, click Save. While under Settings, click User Management so that you can edit your employee data. You will see leads file settings here, like Timekeeper ID and Timekeeper Classification. If your lead software requires this information, you can fill this out here and click Save once finished. Lastly, you have your client and project setup to go through. Go to Clients and click on a client to edit. Scroll down and in the client settings, you can set your ABA codes. If your lead software has a specific client ID and client project ID, you can fill this in here. If you bill multiple projects under your client, you can edit the project to fill in their client project ID per project. Once finished, scroll up and click Save. Once you create an invoice, you will see the Export button at the top. The standard file that most companies use is Leads 98B file. However, you will see other Leads export options depending on the company you choose. If the company requires further information, you can fill that out. Once finished, click Export. From there, save the export to your computer and you can upload that file to your Leads software. Thank you for watching the Leads exporting tutorial. Please click to continue watching for the next video in the series.